Before we begin, I want to thank you for helping What's In It Beauty reach our 200 subscriber milestone. I created this channel to meet health conscious friends like you so we can connect, learn and discover together. So I truly appreciate you making the inner beauty community 200 people strong. Stay tuned for a new segment I call 1-2 Beauty Review where we check out beauty and personal care products for 1. Product effectiveness and 2. From a health perspective where it has low to no toxins in it. Once again, thank you so much and I hope you enjoy today's episode. Hey Inner Beauties, it's Aria, and welcome back to What's In It Beauty, where we get to the core of skincare. Together, we'll analyze our favorite beauty products, one ingredient at a time, so we can make better informed choices for our well-being, inside and out. Let's discover what's actually in our everyday personal care items on a deeper level, not just for its face value and what it's advertised for. It's time to be aware of the countless chemicals our bodies may be taking in through dermal absorption. And since everyone has a different body burden threshold, we'll never know when potential diseases may start to manifest. Today, we'll look at Ula Henriksen's Truth Serum Collagen Booster. Referred to as one of Ula's three wonders, its bright orange packaging immediately gives you an idea of how much vitamin C is packed in it to restore your skin's elasticity and prevent any signs of aging. This will be on your skin overnight, so are you curious about what's in it? Let's find out! From my research, we first have Citrus Grandis Seed Extract, a preservative that may contain impurities of methylparaben and triclosan, which are both endocrine disruptors. Next, we have PEG-12 Dimethicone, a skin conditioning agent that may contain toxic impurities of 1,4-dioxane and ethylene oxide, which are known carcinogens. Benzophenone-4, also known as salicylbenzone, is a sunscreen ingredient that alone does not penetrate the skin but enhances the ability of other chemicals to go through. Linalool and limonene are both scent ingredients that degrade upon storage and exposure to light and air, making them skin and respiratory toxicants. Phenylzoethanol is a preservative that may cause contact dermatitis and irritation to the skin and eyes. Citrol is yet another scent ingredient that may be synthetically manufactured on a large scale and linked to allergies and contact dermatitis. And lastly, we have tocopherol acetate, a chemical that may contain impurities of hydroquinone, another scent ingredient that's associated with skin allergies, similar to that of fragrance, which is also included in this product and represents a hidden list of chemicals used to manufacture the scent. And here are the rest of the harmless ingredients listed in Ula Henriksen's Truth Serum Collagen Booster. So, what are your thoughts? A little of this lightweight serum goes a long way since it spreads easily like silky oil without the tacky feel, absorbing almost immediately it touches my skin and making it plump with hydration. I usually warm two pumps of product onto clean hands and gently pat all over my face and around my neck, mindful of not getting too close to my mouth, eyes, or any broken skin. It has a sweet orange-centric scent which does not linger and is very soothing to me, although I am aware that there is a cocktail of fragrance chemicals in it. I'm not sure if it had any effect on boosting collagen, but I did notice considerably brighter, more even-toned skin around the one-month mark, especially around the darkened areas from those pesky hormonal breakouts. I do like the glass bottle packaging, but wished it was in a darker bottle rather than a clear one to prevent light exposure potentially jeopardizing the stability of the vitamin C compounds, weakening its effectiveness. That's why I like to keep this in a dark, cool place like in my drawer, at all times. The smaller bottles are also very travel friendly and I sometimes use Truth Serum alone as my one-stop shop for skin repair and hydration. Overall, I'm quite satisfied with Truth Serum, but after using what I have, I will hunt for a more natural alternative. So what's your verdict? Have you had a good or bad experience with this face serum? Sharing your story will tremendously help me and other fellow inner beauties who may be interested in this product to either give it a go or give it a no. And my purpose of creating this channel is to connect with a health conscious where we discuss and learn together about the efficacy and potential hazards in the beauty and personal products that we all use daily. So I sincerely hope that this video was helpful for you to decide whether to buy or continue using Ula Henriksen's Truth Serum Collagen Booster. Be smart, be beautiful, 
and be well, all at the same time. If you liked this video, I'd really appreciate it if you can give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already joined the Inner Beauty community, I hope you'll consider subscribing to get the latest and greatest updates as well. That's it for now, Inner Beauties! See you in the next video!